Today I'm going to talk about the harp. If you notice, down here, the strings are longer and they're a bit thicker. That's for the low sounds. And as you get higher, they get smaller and shorter. And as you can see, the sounds get higher as you go up. So it only sounds good if you use the tuner. The tuner goes on the other side of what's called the peg, and then you turn it to tune. Right here you have levers on the other side of where we tuned. Levers are for your sharps and your flats. We hear a mention of the harp in the Bible. It's been played for thousands of years, and it's a very beautiful instrument. Um, this is the sound box. This is where you hear the music come out of. This is what makes it loud. And I'm just going to play a little bit for you on the harp. What are the different colored strings on the harp? C is red, D and E are white, F is blue, or black, sometimes it's black. So C and C is an octave, D and D octave, E and E octave, F and F octave, which is eight notes apart, kind of like on the piano. When you play C and C, that's the same on the harp. Mm -hmm. 